Uh, yeah, Scott, first of all, you know, 80 minutes in the bank. Did you expect that from yourself today? <laughs> I just do whatever Mark said, you know. Um, I've been training down at Cass all year of Midlands and uh, since Mark's been in, he's been asking me to play week in, week out. And uh, a couple of weeks ago, I won the play and I pulled my hamstring and then this is the first week that I've been free to, to put my hand up for him. You know, a lot of people will look at the table, not, not, not necessarily for a League One rugby, and they'll see this as a major shock. But you obviously, you've trained with the team. Do you see this result as a major shock today? I didn't do when uh, I was defended. I think we set the tone early on when they had six sets on our, on our line and they didn't get over. And we grew an extra leg then and we kicked Ockham, fought young Jacob Ockham from, from Cass on Jewel Red. He had, he, had, he had a great game kicking, putting them uh, on the back foot. And as middles just defended for each other. And, and that's what happens when you work as a team. You, you come out with a victory. I mean, Midlands have scored some, some decent points in recent games, but they've conceded a lot as well. What was the difference today in the defence? Was it that intensity? I think it was intensity, but an attitude to defend. OK, we spoke about before the game about we'll, we'll attack through his defence, and, and I thought we did that. We attacked, we attacked uh, Doncaster coming out of yardage, and in them conditions, forced a couple, uh, couple of errors and got some good field position, and um, went in at half-time above them, and we just spoke at half-time that we need to back that up. You've obviously played for cast reserves as well, so clearly there's still a rugby league itch that you're trying to scratch, yeah? That, that would have worn off as well, so I don't know if this is going to be one off, but uh, I'll tell you in the morning, I'll so tell you how I'm feeling in the morning. So yeah, I've, obviously I've, I've been coaching at Castleford now and coach reserves and they were short a couple of weeks ago, so I put my hand up to play then and then when I played, Mark's been asking me to play down here, so yeah, um, oh no, see what happens. By the way, how have you enjoyed the, the coaching aspect of it at Castleford with the reserves and being assistant to Andy as well? Yeah, it's good. Uh, obviously, uh, doing rugby league week day in, day out is, is, is stuff of dreams of. And to see them young kids developing from the start of year to what they were used to do, we played against the UFC, used to it, were, it, is, it, is, it is rewarding. Um, obviously, we need a couple of victories for the first team uh, these next few weeks. And yeah, it's, it's, it's going well. Are you confident still that Castleford can, can retain their place in Super League? Yeah, obviously, obviously, we've got to be confident. Obviously, we've got a great set of players. Just need to put them performances in and, and come out with a couple of wins. And just a couple on Halifax, if you don't mind, because the historic, historic day uh, yeah, yesterday. Yeah, 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 yeah back in the spot. Yeah, they're absolutely awesome. Obviously, I watched it at home with, with, with my kids, and I spent eight years at Halifax. I've um, enjoyed my time there, and I'll be going down to uh, to spot them. Um, when it's going to Wembley and hopefully uh, OK, I'll come out of a, a victory against Wigan now and then it'll be a top day for me. Were you surprised, by the way, that Simon Griggs decided to step down at the end of the season and, and move on? No, one, it's, it, me and Simon have been mates since we were, since we were eight years old, so I was, we were constantly talking uh, every week and obviously Griggs has done an awesome job with Halifax and get to get them to, to Wembley uh, is, a, is a great achievement. But I think Simon's got his own ambitions as well as, as being a Super League coach and he's got all the attributes to be a top two play coach, so uh, wherever he ends up, um, he'll succeed whatever what he does. I think after making Halifax in you know, the top three, he deserves a chance, doesn't he? At, at, you know, who knows Super League? Yeah, he does. He's a quality coach, like I just said. We've been, we've been friends since, since we are eight years old. Me and Grixie played for uh, town teams and the Yorkshire together, but um, yeah, uh, wherever he ends up, Grixie ends up, um, I'm, I'm sure it'll be a success. Last one, because uh, in a few weeks' time, we have the Castleford Wakefield match coming up. Is that the biggest game that Castleford have had, you know, perhaps since the grand final, 2017? We haven't even looked at that, to be honest. We haven't spoke about it. We've got to, we've got OKR on Friday, and then we've got all this field week after. So we just uh, concentrate on them before we get to Wakefield.